literally today is the sign off date for my apprenticeship. Um, I signed the paperwork yesterday and as of the 14th I will be moving on to a full-time trades position with Alcoa in their CAP team which is amazing, I'm totally excited. I studied my Cert 3 in engineering as a mechanical fitter but I also managed to complete my Cert 4 and my diploma in engineering on my own time. I've always loved working with my hands, being very active in the shed, grew up in that sort of environment. I was lucky because I'd, I had been trying for a while. Because coming in as an adult apprenticeship, a lot of people don't want to hire you because the award rate is higher. So it's a, a higher cost to their company. Um, with our co it was the last, last chance I was giving myself. So I was lucky enough, I jumped on Seek. I, I saw them advertising for people through throughout their mine sites and refineries and applied through them and was lucky enough to jump onto the bandwagon and do the interview process and was successful. All I can say is if you're keen, if you've done something that piques your interest, even just the tiniest bit, like give it a go. It's, it's fun. You get in, you get dirty. It's such a great job. You learn so so many things, work with amazing people and um, yeah, just don't let anything hold you back really. If, if you want to do it, do it. Eventually I want to give back. So I know to be a TAFE lecturer you have to do five years post-trade. Um, you need probably to do these on-site uh, apprentice trainer positions about 10, 15 years post-trade. So that is my end goal, is to eventually get off the tools because I am a bit older, I have to look to that in the future as well and give back to the future apprentices and hopefully be able to share my knowledge and everything I've learned along the way with them.